welcome to Fun Friday! Yay! <laughs> You're not supposed to! Gosh! Well, Autumn is here with me again. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Yay! Thank you, Pedro! That was very good. Alright, you guys. You're welcome. We have a lot of fun stuff for you today. And if I will. We both got sunburned. We were having so much fun yesterday. We went to Torrey hike Pines. up Torrey Pines, which was a really long walk, but it was so beautiful. And unfortunately, uh, some lady, thankfully we didn't see it, um, but got hit in the head with a boulder. And they had to life flight her out of there. So, whoa, that was yeah, crazy. All the good looking EMS guys, of course, running down the beach like a quarter of a mile to get down there. But we had a lovely walking day, and then we went to La Jolla so somebody could see the sunset. It I, was beautiful. She must be living in the we'll desert. We'll link a picture. Something. Yes. And we also have her Jeep with an open top. It's topless. Right so that topless. is also why we both got a little extra sunburned. But that's okay. It's just going to be our base layer, and we're going to be so tan. We are. Sure. All right, everybody's gonna be jealous of us. All right, I believe we have a joke. Nope. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, so at the beach yesterday, see, what would I do without my autumn? I would have forgotten that uh, she's got the sticky notes organized for us. So, uh, so yesterday we were at the beach, obviously. And b when I was a teenager, my family um, had a foreign exchange student from Spain come to stay. And um, they pretty much all of them were smoking. And so it was funny because I guess that's what they do there. So I was walking down to go to the bathroom at the beach, which, you know, I might do about... 12 or 13 times, um, but I saw these, you know, teenagers gathered around, and I'm like, oh my gosh, those are totally Spanish foreign exchange students. They just have a look about them. Most of them have long, dark hair, and of course, I walk by, and they're all talking in Spanish, so I was like, oh, but in this group, they had a lot of really good-looking guys who are probably way too young for me. But they seem to be following us around the little part in La Jolla. We went to get some dinner. Um, but anyway, that was fun. Okay, we're done with this one. Okay, now we have a joke to tell. And we need Pedro? Uh, yes, Pedro. So, go. Okay, so what is brown and sticky? I don't know. What? A stick. <laughs> <laughs> That one is really one of my favorite jokes. Okay, so now we have funny stories about the two of us, but mostly we'll start with Autumn. So let's tell us about what happened. No, no, no. Oh, yesterday at the uh, frozen yogurt place. Oh, right. Tell them who we saw. <laughs> yes. So you guys know why we called Pedro Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite. And we saw a Pedro lookalike there in the in the Mexican restaurant. For you. Oh, at the Froyo. Place. At the Froyo. Before and he shaved his before head. Before he shaved his head, Pedro and Autumn pointed that out to me, and then we laughed a lot. Oh, and we had the best frozen yogurt yesterday. Um, it was my favorite place when I lived here before. They are amazing. It's really cheap, and they pile up your frozen yogurt, and they put the toppings like in it, so every bite you get toppings. But I accidentally, my eyes were bigger than my stomach, and I got the medium. <laughs> yes. And Autumn had the smaller one, uh, so I couldn't even finish all of mine, which was kind of sad. But next time... So she kept dumping it onto mine, yes. so I couldn't eat mine. Yes. But anyway, it was delicious. Okay, now we're done. Okay, so Autumn used to come over to my house a lot to get learned some math. Yes, some I learning. said learned. Get some learning. Yes, uh, my mom was homeschooling her. And one day, Autumn fell asleep on her floor. They had the best floor in the world. Yes. So it was a heated floor, so you put your blankets on the floor, and then when you went to take a nap, they were all warm, and yes. you go take a nap. Yep. So I went and took a nap on the floor. And, well, her dad comes, and I'm like, Autumn! Autumn! Literally yelling in her ear, basically, wake up! And she would not wake up. Nope. Autumn, your dad is here! Wake up! Her mom was whistling and clapping, and it felt really kind of bad when I woke up. I, I think she was it. faking it, because she just wanted to stay on the warm floor. 
I'm still not going to be friends with you because of that. All right, stick a note done. Now, this one is an interesting story. Okay, so I liked snowboarding, and my brother and I were had just gotten our first snowboards, and we were... Our homeschooling group gave us a weekly um, ability to go snowboarding or skiing once a week, and we loved it. So um, I ended up, um, we I was trying to keep up with my brother, who likes to do tricks and everything, but I had no fear yet at that point. So I go with my brother and his two friends, well, I was dating one of them, okay. Um, and so we were going down to get, go in the half pipe and I was like, okay, I'll just, you know, go out the way they do, but won't do any tricks. Then I realized the jumps that the half pipe is like double the size from the inside. I'm like, holy moly. I'm, oh my gosh. So I ended up going off the jump and I'm like, my goggles go down over my eyes and I'm flying through the air. And you know you're up high when you can actually think about what position you're in. I like literally was that high. I slam, I hit, hit with my feet and go forward, slam into the ground. Knock the wind out of myself. My helmet has come off and uh, all of Isaac and Isaac and his friends were coming. Around. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Are you okay? And it was hard to even talk because the wind had gotten so slammed out of me. And, and I hit my head too. But they were like, do you know what you just did? Apparently I had done a rodeo flip, which is you spin around and you flip and landed it. So after that, of course, in the, our tiny little school, everyone was saying, hey, you're the chick that did the rodeo flip. And I was like, oh yeah, I was. But also that day, I just, for whatever reason, I was like, I just don't feel like continuing to do this. So I'm like, I'm going to just lay, like lay on the ground and let people think I might, you know, I had a concussion and, and so the boys are yelling at me. So yes, I faked having a concussion and I was laying there. It might have been for attention. I'm not sure. I did a lot of stuff like that in that time in my life. And, but I think especially I wanted the ski patrol guy to come, a good looking guy, um, to come and, and rescue me. Skiers are cuter than snowboarders. No, actually he was a snowboarder. He doing, was a skier. He, you don't know He's anything. cuter than snowboarders. Anyway, she's obviously a skier. But, yes, and so he gave me a ride down and after that I didn't ever snowboard again well anymore that day. But then because of that, I then always was wearing a helmet and really never tried to do jumps anymore. Uh, but one side note, cool about the snowboarding. So when I first learned how to snowboard, all I could do is the falling leaf where you just keep your toe edge up and just, and it hurts your leg so much because you're just using the same one, and one day, Autumn and her dad wanted to take a snowboarding class at the same place we were doing our classes. And um, so I was just doing it with him, and the instructor, because he saw I knew how to do the falling leaf, he's like, can you demonstrate how to carve? And I was like, oh no, I'm going to be so embarrassed. Well, because of the way he described doing it, I just was like, tried it. And then I can figure out how to carve. So now I'm an actual real snowboarder. Yay for me. <laughs> oh, and also just a side note. Yes, that I was trying to teach somebody else how to snowboard. I'm not going to say a name because it's not very nice. But she ended up every time I would pull off to the side of the trail to wait for her to come down, she would run over on me. And one time hit me in the head. Thankfully, I was wearing a helmet at that time. Oh my gosh, so this, we're, we got through it, but if you, here, can you read that? Um, Late, Late John, John Garfield Blues. Yes, that's the Dylan Prime song of the day. So now you guys are ready to start your weekends, and we're ready to go have more fun in the sun. I know you guys are very jealous. <laughs> Goodbye.